What's up, everybody? We gotta talk about this new movie, Fly Me to the Moon, starring Scarlett Johansson and Shannon Tatum. I'm gonna keep it spoiler-free in this review since the movie doesn't come out until Friday, so you've got no spoilers to worry about. Now let's jump right in. Starting it off in my cons section here, I only have a couple things, and they're pretty minor complaints, but still worth mentioning. First off, I felt that somebody needed to go into this creative room and rattle all of them around saying show don't tell. There was a lot of intriguing backstory, uh, backstory to ScarJo's character that we just don't really get to see. I mean, we see a bit in New York at the beginning, but and on the NASA side of things, they do like a, a montage to start the movie. But I just felt like I would have connected to her character a little bit more if I saw some of the stuff that I heard. Also, it started to lose me right before it got me back with the final 20 minutes of chaos because it just dragged in that middle section. Tatum and ScarJo do everything they can to keep you going, and thankfully, their effort was just enough, but there's no reason this story needed to be over two hours long. That's all the complaining I've got to do for this movie, though, so let's jump right into my prose section. Kicking this off is going to be the cast as a whole, but the cast is going to be a constant uh, theme throughout this section because they're just the reason to watch this movie, in my opinion, not so much the story. But even as I say that, history people, you probably will enjoy the story more than I did. I'm just not a huge history buff. Anyway, Scarlett Johansson and Channing Tatum were a great duo at the front of this movie, and their section of this story is without a doubt the best part of the movie. Without saying too much without getting into spoilers, I just really love the arc for Kelly, which is ScarJo's character, once she really gets to know the situation at NASA and who Cole Davis is, which is uh, Tatum's character. I thought she did a phenomenal job portraying that switch, getting flipped in her mind throughout the last part of the movie. But there was another actor who had some amazing scenes with Shannon Tatum, and that's the great Ray Romano, who was Henry Smalls. He was there at NASA with him, uh, seemingly since Apollo 1 there. And not only do they have a great bond because of that, but he also helps guide Kelly on her arc with Cole, which was a phenomenal scene. Then, real quick before I get to my last thing here, Woody Harrelson and Jim Rash were the sleeper stars of this movie for me personally. Uh, Woody was Mo Burks and Jim was the director of the fake moon landing, and that was a great role for him, which was also a hilarious plotline for a, a tinfoil hatter such as myself. Finally, I love the atmosphere towards the end when Apollo 11 is successful, and that's not a spoiler, I'd hope you know that by now, but it's just a contagious energy. Like, even though they do take a, a comedic approach to this historical event, they lock it in when it matters, and it's so damn good. The director, Greg Berlanti, he talked about this in an interview where he said two things that I love. First, he wouldn't have done it if NASA wasn't involved, and two, he felt he couldn't ignore one of the first conspiracies, so he showed it, but he embraced the celebration of this great achievement in American history, which was done beautifully, in my opinion. And so that'll do it for my review of Fly Me to the Moon. This one actually shocked me with how good it ended up being, because if I'm being honest here, I was pretty skeptical going into it, but god damn did that cast win me over. Let me know if you have any questions though before you see the movie, or if you're here after you've seen it, I'd love to hear what you thought about it down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the movie, or at the very least, enjoyed this great cast, and make sure you have a great day.